Hi gang, Rob here. It's the evening of 27 August 2013 and I hope we have a short video tonight and it's going to be kind of a how-to. Over the last couple weeks I've had some viewers inquire uh, and seeing some of my Swiss Army knives featured on the channel about these little tether cord lanyards that I make. Uh, people have asked me if I make them, how I make them, would I do a video on making them. And let me tell you, first of all, why I, I make them. They're, you know, I'm sort of not a lanyard person unless there's function involved with the lanyard. Like if it's a knife I carry in my pocket, can I reach blindly into the pocket and feel around for something tactile that I can grab a hold of and extract that knife? I don't have lanyards on my knives for fashion, and uh, although I like them to look decent, I want them to work for what I have them on there for. And <clears throat> I've sort of gravitated toward these little tiny tether cord lanyards with this noose knot on the end of it uh, because they work for why I use them and they don't get in the way. Now this is one I did a couple years ago, and you can see it's probably four or five inches long, and I've sort of gravitated over the years to something a little shorter, like uh, this one on my Victorinox Cadet. Uh, they get in the way less, and they still give me what I'm looking for. I don't really dangle them out of my pocket um, anymore, so these long ones aren't really working for me like they used to so I'm gonna take this one off my super tinker yes if those of you who watched my tinker video thought well wow why, why wouldn't you just have a super tinker because it's got scissors well the answer is I do have a super tinker and as you can see I just do that sort of a loop knot through the split ring so it's not permanently attached. And we're going to make a new tether cord lanyard a little shorter for the tinker tonight. So first let's, oh, we don't need that little scrap. Let's untie our hank of tether cord. And I'll show you how I do this. Okay. Well, first of all, we're going to need a loop. This loop is going to be the loop that goes through the split ring on the knife. And we're going to need enough tether cord to come back around this loop up here at the top is going to be the loop that we pull through at the end and we're going to need enough tag end to wrap back around and form our noose. I think that's going to be about enough. If you notice, we need some tools for this job. One is going to be a lighter because we're going to need to melt the ends. And the other is our Swiss Army knife scissors. Must have them. Okay, I think that tag end's about long enough. Let's just see. Yeah, that's about so what we've got is the the long end or the leftover end of our cord sort of dangling off the table. We're coming down to our loop, back up to our eye we're gonna pull through, and then down again toward the end loop with our tag end that we're going to wind around. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to wrap this in a little ball and sort of tightly pinching it. We're going to start wrapping our way back up. Now on a small lanyard like this, I guess we're going to want six or seven coils. So there's one, there's two, and we just want to sort of keep everything tight. <clears throat> There'll be some room to adjust when we're finished, but no sense having it loose. So there's three. There's four. Five. Six. And well, that seven looks about right. 
Now, we're going to wrap this tag end through our tie loop. And now we're going to start adjusting. I have to pull down here at the end loop and pull my tie loop through. Whoops. You just sort of, sort of have to yank on the right one. So now I'm pulling my tie loop down, which is going to pull my tag end tight. And now after I get it sort of tight, I just want to go back and rewind everything, make it tight, and then give that tag end a good yank. And all we're doing is just making sure everything is taut. So our tag end is now tightly pulled through our tie loop. And now we've got all this loop hanging. So what we got to do is pull the, the long end of our cord through that noose until that loop gets where we want it. Now, using my lanyard on the cadet for reference, it looks like we're still quite a bit long. Longer than we need to be. We'll make this one just a little longer for the tinker. Whoops. Just because it's a little larger knife. Almost home. I kind of like that. Okay. Now, once we're sure everything's nice and tight like we want it, that's a good tight little noose right there. Now we can clip our ends and melt them. We can do that one at a time, starting with the longer one. Now we don't want to we don't want to clip this uh, too far from our noose knot because we want to have room to melt. So I'd leave you know between a sixteenth and an eighth of an inch of cord. Nice clean cut from the Victorinox scissors. Now, we've got that exposed end. We're going to melt it and then we're going to smash it against the side of the lighter. Now that should flare that out for us. And keep it from going anywhere. Now we're going to do the same thing with our tag end. Those things work great. Okay, here goes. Get a good melt and then smash it against the side of the lighter. <clears throat> now, you can leave those ends dangling and you can cut them off even and they make a nice little tassel, you can leave them a half inch, three quarters of an inch long. But if you do that, this noose will slip. And you'll forever be, you know, pulling it and adjusting it and clipping ends to make, and make them even. And uh, I learned as I started using these that that little decorative tassel at the end wasn't worth the aggravation. And it was nice just to have something that is solid. It's always going to be there when you grab it, and it's not going to move. You're not going to feel it slip in your hands as you uh, pull on it. So, let's uh, close up our tinker and fit our new lanyard. There. That's a little better, I think. A little more manageable length for that knife. Well, I hope you guys could see all that. I've never done a 
lanyard how-to video before, but now I have. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to message me or comment, and uh, you're welcome to start and stop this video as many times as you need to. Hope that helps. You guys all have a good night. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. And remember, the word is sharp.